are here at NAB Show 2022. We have the cable cam system, the robotic system, the IO builder software. We have some nice underwater lighting, underwater housings uh, for cameras. Let me introduce all of those devices. First of all, we have the robotic system here. It's an industrial robotic arm. Uh, we provide base for that. We manufacture accessories like camera mounts, focus control. We are providing the software for controlling those robots as well. Here is the basic setup which shows uh, what we can control with the software. So we have a turntable here and we have a DMX like at the back. So we can control uh, both of them. Uh, and we have some SFX here. So basically IO Builder is controlling the robot directly. Uh, and it takes the movement information uh, from Cinema 4D. This is an animation application. It's similar to Blender, 3D Studio Max, or Maya. This solution was the fastest to program uh, movement for robotic usage. We are streaming the position data from Cinema 4D uh, to IO Builder, and IO Builder calculates the trajectory for the robots online, so it's, it's all happening in real time. So here we have our booth scanned, so we used just a LiDAR scanner here to make a 3D representation of our booth and we are using this uh, as a reference. So we have our robotic arm here, the turntable and the DMX lighting. So we select the camera right here uh, in C40, drag it and uh, move it around like this. So it happens in real time, I don't need to run trip the movement information, we can do the framing just like that. We are targeting the camera towards a point, uh, which is set to the that table's center point. So basically, I'm just moving the camera up and down, and it uh, constantly tracks that point, so it's automatic, and it also pulls the focus. We have a timeline, uh, we can drop down keyframes or set keyframes, and that's basically how the motion programming is done. We have here the turntable, so I'm going to zoom it in and I can choose the rotation tool here in C4D and I can rotate it just like that. So I'm dragging the virtual turntable in Cinema 4D, rotate it with the rotation tool and the real object follows it. We can keyframe this also. We have a DMX light here set up. It's an RGB light, so I can change the intensity of the lighting, even the color and uh, we can keyframe it along with the movement. Afterwards, we, we finished with the motion programming in Cinema 4D. We can confirm the framing, so I can grab the play hat here, and I can uh, see it through the animation, just like holding the play hat uh, with the mouse and uh, scrubbing it around. We have a three seconds of timeline and I can set the playback rate with a knob on the MIDI controller so we can use a MIDI controller here. I'm turning the knob and it speeds up the movement. So let's say I set the playback rate to 4x or 400%. Because of the timeline is uh, three seconds long, at 400% it, it, the movement will be less than one second. And I start to play it back. The other thing what we can use here is uh, synchronizing SFX. So there are a lot of food commercials which needs to have some uh, SFX rigs regulated by uh, pneumatic valves, uh, electromagnets and so. Because of the, the camera motion is so fast, we need to trigger the SFX also. For example, we have a bowl of milk and we would like to drop some fruits or cereals into it. We need to move the camera very fast, uh, orbiting around the bowl. Uh, and uh, for that, we need to synchronize when we want to drop the fruit or the cereal to catch the moment when the particle is just falling into the milk and have the, the motion in the right position. For demonstration purposes, we have here a basic ledge door. So it's a 3D printed, very basic, but it shows what we can do with it. And as I soon, I start uh, playing it back, hit the play button, it releases the door. The other interesting part here is uh, this screen's content is rendered in real time. If you take a look from that perspective, it looks off, so it's, it's just weird. Okay, but if you take a look on that monitor, the perspective will be correct. We know where the 
camera is, and we are feeding the camera position through IO Builder to Unreal Engine in real time. Another great toy what we have here at Special Grip today is uh, the Cable Cam 3D Systems uh, demo board. So we have this uh, for education and demoing purposes, so it's a fully functional board. It's also controlled by our IO Builder software. We have here four ropes with fiber uh, integrated into the cables, so we can use those for transmitting video feed and uh, controlling the, the camera head. One operator operates the position of the cable cam and the other controls the camera usually. And we have a nice 3D visualization uh, back on that monitor, so if I move uh, the cable cam around, it will show the real-time position of the dolly. So we can change the perspective, so we can have a better understanding what's going on if you don't have any visuals uh, on the actual cable cam. We also have here some nice underwater housings. We can go 30 meters uh, deep with it. We can use this for, for film cameras. We can fit in uh, the lens control also. Uh, we can use anamorphic lenses, zoom lenses, tele telephoto lenses and uh, wide-angle lenses as well. So this is the flat window and uh, we have the dome one. For wide angles, all the control cables are going in, so you have full control from, from above. You can adjust the, the balance like this. Uh, we have a field monitor, water resistant too. We can fit a lot of type of cameras. We have mounts for, for different types of cameras. So, so this is for Sony Venice, Phantom Flex 4K, but we have camera mounts for the most popular cameras. And the reason is why using those, because we want to center the lens position to the port center. Besides the underwater camera housings, we have an underwater lighting here. So it's a spot lamp and uh, we, can, we can put down uh, to 30 meters also, just like the underwater housing for the cameras. We have uh, five LED chips in it, 600 watts each, cold white, warm white, red, green and blue. 